I'm here because I believe in a cause, and I believe in finishing what I started. Rower Jen Gibbons is used to talking about her solo trip around Lake Michigan, but these days she's also addressing a more painful topic. I'm here because even though I have reasons not to, I am full of hope for humanity. Just look around. You are my hope. Halfway through her trip, Gibbons says she was raped along the remote coast of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I am here, and I'm moving forward because of you. You've taught me very well, and you've made me very strong, and I want to thank you. Gibbons reunited with her big yellow rowboat earlier this month. Motivated by the rowing team for breast cancer survivors, she began in Chicago five years ago. I work with women who come to practice one week after losing their hair in chemo the week before, and they row, and that's how they cope. Just being around them, you know, being immersed in everything that they are and the strength that they have has really, it's rubbed off on me a lot more than I think I recognize. Now she's heading home, accompanied, when she's not on the water, by her friend and fellow rowing coach, Mark Carroll. She's stubborn uh, in a good way. She doesn't like uh, to be told no, and uh, if she has something that, that is uh, challenging, I, I know that she sticks with it, um, and, and she doesn't give up about anything. You know, the water is really comforting, it's really healing for me, it kind of always has been. I've had that time alone to process good, to process bad. Before the attack, she'd already raised tens of thousands of dollars to buy boats for the team, known as Recovery on Water, or ROW. I've met so many amazing people and had so many good experiences, and I think that if I can give energy and own those things more, then I don't have to focus on anything bad. Be safe. Her final destination, Chicago where she began the trip two months ago. And though the trip didn't go as planned, her arrival next week will be right on schedule. Martha Irvin, Associated Press, South Haven, Michigan.